now, and urban farming has become quite popular here in Austin over the last few years as more and more people and restaurants look to buy local. This morning, the Austin City Council will vote on an ordinance that could change how these farms operate. Our Kate Whitehall is live at City Hall with the details this morning. Hi, Kate. Hey, good morning. Well, chances are you've seen some of these urban farmers before. If you have ever gone to the farmer's market, that's where a lot of them sell their goods. And here in Austin, we have about 20 urban farms, mainly over on the east side. But the changes in this ordinance could impact what you're able to buy from these urban farms. And over here, we've got our laying hens and ducks. Dorsey Barger has a lot happening on our two-acre urban farm called House Bar Farm in East Austin. We raise chickens, we raise rabbits, um, and then probably 50 or 60 different kinds of vegetables. The vegetables get sold to restaurants, and up until a few months ago, chickens were also processed for sale. But then one day, a neighbor complained to the city. The complaint was not about the fact we were processing uh, protein. Our neighbors actually weren't even aware of that. Uh, the complaint was about the fact that our compost had gotten a little bit out of whack and was a little bit smelly. That one day of smell has led to months of negotiations between the city and urban farmers over the rules on what they can and can't do. Dorsey had to stop processing chickens, but in the meantime has helped rewrite the code. My goal is to be an example of how food uh, can be grown and raised in a way that's good for the planet, good for our neighbors, good for the animals that we raise. The new ordinance would allow for more than just chickens on the farm, but also fish and rabbits. Well, and rabbits make absolutely no noise. Um, they're Beautiful, quiet little creatures, incredibly sustainable, easy to raise organically, terrific uh, source of protein. And these farms would be limited to the number of animals they could slaughter based on their acreage. And so what that attempts to do is to um, make sure that the scale of an urban farming operation suits the neighborhood. Hoping to create an equal balance between being a good neighbor while pushing the local food movement. We think we're just the best neighbors ever. <laughs> And because these urban farms really can't stay profitable off just selling the fruits and vegetables they grow, they hold events like weddings or cannings, uh, lots of different things. But under this new ordinance, they would have to be able to get a permit to hold those. And uh, getting a permit could mean they would have to build additional facilities on their property, which could cost them a lot of extra money. Today is the, just the first reading here at City Hall for this new ordinance. And of course, we'll keep you posted on what happens. We're live at Austin City Hall. Kate Wydaw. KXAN News. Okay.